falling out of has been paid for by the WZWA Network. Ladies and gentlemen, fucking welcome to WZW fucking A Reacts. I'm Juicy Boy. This is my fucking co-host, Reppin' the Wolfpack, California A. And no, today, bitch. here on WZWA Reacts, we've got another fucking old time banger for you guys. <laughs> we're going to be checking out some more Haystacks Calhoun. But this time, we're going across to the other side of the pond, at least in terms of the opponent, because Haystacks is going to be taking on the legendary gunman, Nature Boy, the original Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. So yes, there is going to be a Bruno Sammartino impersonation at some point <laughs> in reference to Mr. Rogers and probably some British stuff too. It's just how we are. Get the fuck over it. Anyway, here with some background on the match is California. Yeah, bro. Just want to clarify, this is Haystacks Calhoun. Previously, we watched Giant Haystacks, who was a different man. I, I, I could have sworn that fucking... It was just... I, 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 originally, I was under the impression it was just a name change. I, no, I, two different guys, bro. Two different oh, guys. Oh, man. You know, you I, know I've been confused about that before in the past as well. But um, I think well, Giant Haystacks was kind of... You know, he did it you know, in honor of Haystex Calhoun. Oh man, that's fucking sick. All right, yeah, so it's, bro. you know, so it's almost like the, the pre Haystack Haystack. <laughs> I, you know, like it yeah, ended up- we'll, being... we'll go with that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yes, this is in the US of A, bro. This is for NWA Chicago, wrestling from Chicago on the 14th of April, 1961. So I think this is like, the oldest match that we've had the chance to react to so far. It's at the so Chicago far. International Amphitheater in front of 11,000 people, bro. Yep, and I noticed uh, from checking out the video before we went on the air, it is a another classic wrestling match that has been uploaded by Chicago Film Archives Presents Wrestling from Chicago. Big shout out to them. I am a subscriber on my personal channel. Uh, I love that they uh, provide an archive uh, for us to be able to go back and watch these matches. Keep up the fucking good work and all of you down there. Down fucking there, down there. And to the channel that we got this from, please, uh, can we just have it on our channel? Please don't uh, get it taken down. It's uh, <laughs> it's actually in the public domain. Uh, I should hope so. I should hope so. Oh, yeah. You know, and plus, watching the original one will be better than watching us two fucking waffling on. You know what I mean? Uh, well, speak for yourself. All right, here we here go. Here we go, bro. Okay, ready in three, two, two one. one. Play. play more. Okay, here we go. Oh, that microphone is just incredible. There he is. Look at that big bastard. It's uh, the big Hastex Calhoun, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, listen to those boos. Oh, oh, my. Look at the hair, bro. Yeah, people are upset. He's got the manager. Hi, everybody. Russ Davis, ringside, International Amphitheater. This is excellent, bro. Look how great this quality well, this is. is. Yeah. A lot of you folks have been waiting to see. It's the first time that we've had Haystack Cal uh, Calhoun in the amphitheater. And uh, Buddy Rogers, as a defending champion, has to take on everybody. I don't think he was... That big bastard. This. Yeah, he's a big son of a bitch, and, uh... The belt is up for yeah, he's, he's, you know... This is all 600 and some odd pounds. I've never that. seen a Haystacks Calhoun match, so I'm interested to see. Have you ever seen a full... Have you ever seen a full match from this era? Like, doubt it. Yeah, okay. So you, this is going to be an interesting experience. I'm curious to see what you're going to think of it. I've, I've watched a number <clears throat> of matches from this era. 
It's definitely not going to be for every wrestling fan out there. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to like react to things that I just haven't haven't even come into my realm. You know, yeah, exactly. Because uh, yeah. this show is for everyone out there. We don't monetize these videos because we don't want to get in trouble for using footage. But um, they do it for everyone out there. But sometimes these picks are for us as well because we want to keep learning about the different things and the different styles and the different eras of professional yeah that's the fucking great thing about being you know about about the the art form of pro wrestling is that you you never stop learning and discovering new things about it um look haystacks is fucking barefoot as well jesus christ that big son of a bitch walking around with no ankle support fuck <laughs> I, I, I assume he doesn't take many bumps. <laughs> well, we're going to see. All right. <laughs> we'll see what happens, though. Referee means business as well. I wonder what Bruno would have thought of, of oh, what he watches at this point. Uh, as we go along, you know, we're, we're going to... Might, might, might find out, yeah. Might find out, yeah. You'll have to keep watching. Here we go. And for Calhoun, this is a scuffle. You know, everyone dresses so, dress so nice for the wrestling matches. Yeah. Seats. This is like a night out. This is like a big, yeah. like going to the boxing. Completely hidden from view. Yeah. He is right there. He's out of sight. Oh, <laughs> uh, and he's already kind of, you know. That was rude. I, th I think that's that's gonna upset the big man. Might have been a mistake to upset the big man. I'm gonna wear you down to where you. Is Buddy gonna become that chicken shit heel? I am really loving the fact that uh, the commentator is putting on a slight southern twang uh, whenever he reflects on how Haystack is feeling about the match. Listen closely, Carl, to the announcer. The, the smile on everyone's faces in the audience when he couldn't get that headlock takeover. Old lady chewing gum there. Generally has reason to but not with this one. There we go. Beautiful That's headlock. A meaty headlock right there. Hey, Stank, if you just cut that hair now and then, my... Uh... Oh, pull on the hair. Tremendous Referee cannot see over that that massive frame of haystacks. Back and into those rubs. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Grab, love that. Come and he hangs up. on. <laughs> took off like Buddy was a travoir. <laughs> That's a bit interesting word. Travois. And then went right along with him. All right, here we go. Oh, he's wrenching it in there. You can see this haystack is obviously a student of the game as well. That's a perfect headlock. I miss the days of that heel champion that had zero likable qualities and you just wanted to see him get his fucking whole hand to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's like the crowd are always fucking split because they like the heels because they're kind of cool. Oh, and <laughs> but Buddy was completely lifted off the ground. Y'all won't give up? Yell Gavro, huh? Something so simple getting such a reaction. And I don't think I've ever seen that spot before either. They're trying to whip the big man off the ropes and the headlock doesn't... Yeah. It's... it's no... Once Lace again, it. having to conform to the realm of making it look believable and real, you know, that fosters innovation and creativity. They can't just do something that looks blatantly fictional the same way that they would do it today. Yeah. Because people in the audience, you know, think that what they're watching is a genuine... Yeah, you know, that's it. You kind of forget that too, that everyone in that audience... Pretty I much mean, believes this to yeah. be real. Yeah. And yes, there was the Fall Guys and a few other expose articles that had come out over the years. But genuinely, generally speaking, it was a lot more in question um, whether wrestling could be fixed or not because they did such a great job yeah. of, uh, of keeping that illusion alive. He's got look him down at, to his knees by look pulling at his fucking beard. Yeah, that's one thing that no matter how big you are, it'll hurt like a motherfucker getting your beard fucking pulled on. Yeah. Fuck that. And fuck you too. <laughs> Unnecessary attack. 
Buddy gets mad at the crowd. He calls him a house full of paid referees. Oh! So Buddy is uh, employing the Tony Khan tactic of uh, assuming that everyone who doesn't like him has been paid by some uh, <laughs> auspicious entity to talk shit about him. Oh, oh, fuck. Turnabout is fair play. Wait, oh, nope. Nope. Come on, oh, Haystacks. Shit. Come on, you big son of a bitch. Just rip his arm off. Like, <laughs> just pull it out of its socket. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Haystacks now. Oh! oh! And it lifts Buddy off the ground. The impact. In the condition he's doing this. Gets right back on it. There you go. Well, yeah. I think I think Buddy was a con man, and I think he was <laughs> uh, underhanded in the way that he went about some of his matches. Uh, Look, look at him. He's in the referee's face. He's talking badly to the, you know, he's a, that referee's a friend of mine. I've had him over to my parents for dinner and, uh, <laughs> you know, what are you doing, you con man? Let him up. Let him get to his feet. I don't know why. I just always pop for the, the Bruno impression and utilizing the word con man because it <laughs> seems like it's such a Bruno word to you. Yeah, yeah, even though there's not that much of Bruno doing shoot interviews to draw from. Like, <laughs> I think Batty was a con man. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and he's he's resorted to using the, the dreaded thumb to the eye. You saw that. He was in trouble. Yeah, look and, at him. He's a disgusting pig, bro. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he's acting like everyone else is the one with the problem. Like, <laughs> well, what an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's a universal thing, not just in wrestling, but in all storytelling. The best villains think that they're the heroes. Gorgeous Bill Throw. And that's not going to work, buddy, you dumb son oh. of a bitch. Boom! Beautiful, Beautiful post. Oh, and now Haystack. Yeah, he's firing fucking... up, brother. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh bye bye. Right break, bro. Right He's break. on the ropes, unfortunately. Look at the big oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kevin Nash, you still want to complain about viscera dropping on you? <laughs> like you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Be like a day off for buddy. <laughs> Look how Buddy's selling it, bro. I feel like it's real. Like, so <laughs> yeah, because like, he's almost like, he's just almost like fucking... get, the, get this fucking fat <laughs> son of a bitch. Like, get away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's got his bleach blonde hair. He's like in, you know, excellent condition. <laughs> he just probably wouldn't want to touch somebody wearing overalls. Like, <laughs> looks like no fucking shoes, no boots. Just like, <laughs> but he must just think he's an animal. Yeah. What am I doing with this big face? <laughs> bo bo both in kayfabe and behind the scenes. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I don't know that for sure. But, um, because so little is known about kind of, uh, you know, behind the scenes life at that time as a wrestler. Yeah. But, um, other than what we've heard in bits from Bruno and other historians, but. It'll forever be a mystery. Guys like uh, Buddy never did shoot interviews. That's a shame, but oh. fair enough and understandable. Oh, my. Hard elbow to the ear. No. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, and again, and there's no big fat turnbuckle pads either. <laughs> Everyone loving it. Oh. oh, shit. <laughs> Came out of the camera frame. Buddy again getting the leg on the rope because there's no way he's getting up. Once again, the, the rules matter, and so it matters when they affect a match. I know people that follow this series avidly probably get, you know, tired of hearing me say that like a broken record, but I'm hoping that there'll be someone out there, some fan that will one day be a, a wrestler that will hopefully take some of what they're seeing in, in some of these matches. And, uh, I hope so, mate. Oh. It's probably like, get the your dirty fucking soles of your feet just <laughs> away from my stomach. Like, 
know, somebody always, I think it's the electrician, swipes our program around here every oh. night out here. Another. Wait a sec, buddy. Oh, what oh. a knee strike. Wait a oh, second. No. Yeah, he's, he's he got a bit too over eager there. Oh, and the thumb oh, again. Again, bro. He's got to think of something. Oh, oh drop kick, bro. That's sent Haystack into the turnbuckle. He's discombobulated. Oh, shit. Whoa, that might be it. Oh, that might be it. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's. I think that's going to be it, bro. I think, I think that'll be called. Cool. I think Fucking that'll be a count out. Buddy's figured it out, mate. It's all over with. And it's a count out. And there you see the officers. They're going to have to help. And oh, Buddy dear. Rogers. You and the crowd is not bitch. happy. The crowd is not happy. <laughs> he went through a war and he managed to figure out how to get get out of it. And there you see an example, guys, like of a gimmick used very effectively. I mean, obviously that was planned. The way that that broke was very, you know, well done. Yes. Um, but I mean, wow. You you don't really think of high spots like that when you think of wrestling from this era, but it it was so well done. Fuck man, you see how how we reacted to it like they should do that one day these days, you know, like but don't though. Something. Don't actually do it though. Actually yeah, don't break they fuck it. it up. They yeah, no. Nah. Don't. Don't try to do it. Inside. What was that to the ringside? What now, mate? What's this bloke got to say? Well, we're trying to get the doctor over here to ringside. Oh, trying to get the doctor. Len, you might as well make this official, boy, because undoubtedly Buddy Rogers is one over Stack Calhoun. We might just as well call the dogs, put fire out to the home. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice to the end there. final line there. And as yeah. I'm seeing here, there are, oh, dude, there are lots of other matches from this channel. Luther's Buddy Rogers from 51. Ooh. Very Gorgeous good. George versus Han Schnabel oh, from we'll 1950. Have have, yeah, we're after him. Check out some gorgeous George too. Fuck, mate! Holy shit! Wow, I, well, that you know was what? fucking cool. I really enjoyed that. I think that was good. Um, you know, I love pro wrestling. You know, it's just, 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 just give it to me. Just, I want it. Just, <laughs> just, 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 I want it all. I just want it all except for like, like AEW. So, yeah, no, I can take yeah. it. Take that right. or leave it. But anyway, <laughs> um, wow. I, I, we would love to know what you guys in the comments thought of that. I mean, we're probably going to do this regardless because at this point it's as much about us as it is about you. But we hope that you are looking forward to seeing us cover more wrestling from the golden age of professional wrestling. You know, back when it was on the silver screen, back when it was a night out, uh, you know, like going to a big prize fight with your gal on your arm. Um, I mean, wow, that was really fun. That was you know a spectacle <clears throat> a perfect example of a great heel doing their job and knowing exactly where to go in terms of getting the most mileage out of an attraction performer like haystack calhoun who would have moved around i mean obviously buddy as nwa champion he's moving around a lot at that time uh between different parts of the country but especially a guy like haystack never was around in one place for too long this wasn't going to be a program or a series mm. of matches between them so this was a way of keeping both of these guys looking strong uh you know without devaluing either one i just think it was expertly done yeah uh, there's my nerdy little historical analysis there uh let us know what you fucking thought yep in the comments and again if you all any of you have a a match you'd like to, to suggest don't pick an AEW match or WWE or, you know, Impact Wrestling. Yeah. NJPW, don't bother with that either because they'll, yeah. they'll take it down immediately. But something that, you know, we can get on the channel and keep on the channel. Uh, we don't have to monetize it. We just want some some suggestions out yes. there. Generally speaking, generally speaking, anything from prior to about 1975 will usually be okay. Mm. Um, and then depending on which territory it is usually stuff before 1980 or so you know is yeah is okay so uh with that in mind we hope you enjoy all enjoyed this and um fucking we're looking forward to the next one 
and we hope you are too. I've been Juicy Boy. That's fucking California who's waving goodbye. Yeah, hey, cunt. And we will see you down the fucking road. Thank you. Like, get puppies. Hey, hey, network, that's the way we play. Get puppies. Hey, hey, network, that's the way we play. Get. All announcement has been paid for by the WZWA Network.